Hello my lovelies, right sorry but this is the evening time because it was too cold out in the shed and when I did record my things were that cold and my toes were cold I didn't concentrate enough and I was completely out of shot. So this is take two of the video that I'm doing. So you might see my shadow for a second but I'm just about to sit down. Am I right? <laughs> so I've got the light above me. I'm hoping it's not going to affect it too much. So yeah, this is when the house is completely quiet. So it's easy for me to do something in peace and quiet. So hello, my beautiful crafters. It's Claire from Butterfoot, Buttercup Creation Art. Um, so I've been busy making goodies and this is all out of um, paper from a book, book pages. So I've been making those. This is going to be going into a new journal that I'm creating. And it's all going to be to do with summertime flowers. Um, so yeah, I've been making book corners. So as you can see, sewn around the edge, just give them a little bit of dimension. Got it in the greens. And then I've got some bigger ones. So lots and lots of tuck spots so as you can imagine this is going to be a big journal with lots of signature also i have been making our tags like that and i have some more that i've been busily making um so yeah i've got some more there going there and then all these, obviously not every single one is going to go in there because um, the, I think the book will be too heavy to carry. And also being busy. So yeah, all out of book pages. So what we're going to do is we're going to do these two. So this one I've got I turn it around that way you'll see it better my little ruffle that I made today um, and I'm just going to show you how many pockets this has got so you've got this one here and you've got this one this one this one this one and then the final back one and then if you glue it down to a page you can always have another tuck spot there so that's that one and i've done um with some mod podge some napkins over the top and then just a bit of color added to that and then this one so this is an actual book so you've got a pocket on the front there and there little writing area then got your pockets there one there and then one big one at the back so ideal loads of tuck spaces and then obviously you can fill it with like your tabs for little noted areas but like once again done a bit of um, napkin all over it bit of lace there you go I made these as well um, so this is um, fussy cut bit well called kiss cut because I am rubbish at fussy cutting so this is shabby dabby doodahs and these I did put her link up the other day for a Etsy shop can't think of her name but I will hunt it down and put it in the notes and then another ruffle that I made so let's get making so we need a good old trusty book so I'll just get some pages so before anyone has a panic attack this was a book in a charity shop because the spine was all damaged um, and there's some scribbling through the pages as well. So we've got 
got a good few pages. Um, if they've got any naughtiness, you can always uh, cover it up fully with card, uh, paper stock. Um, so we're just going to get a couple of these, see how many we can get made. Um, and then all I done was I went around with a sewing machine afterwards. I suppose this is going to be too many, but you never know what we can get done. So we'll just put those to the side. All I'm going to do is trim off this excess, that, you know, the rip bit. She says, I'm being very brave. <laughs> I got that many layers. <sighs> Get rid of that. Best bit about it, being in the kitchen, is I've got the bin right behind me. Just go across there as well. I mean, keep these bits. <clears throat> right, okay, so I'm going to do a couple of the triangles. It's all I've done. Let's go edge to edge over and snip off. There, so you've just got the normal tucks and then I'll glue there. And then obviously I've got a smaller one here. Sorry about this, I've got loads of ink all over me today. So that's what that black is. Because I dropped the my um, ink pad and decided to decorate my hands under my nails. Okay, do another one. And another one. So it's trying to use up as much of the paper as you can. Lot. I have already made loads of these. Just do these couple and then get our glue. Just go. Don't have to do loads of glue. Use prick stick if you want. But these will be sewn down. Oh, I've just gone over that bit. <laughs> Error alert. Let me just cut that bit off. <laughs> there we go. Put that in the bin. <laughs> right, okay. There's one. Remember to go where you've got to go, Claire. All right, if we glue that side. But yeah, I will sew these down. I mean, if you haven't got a sewing machine, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you glue them down really well. And we'll cover a couple of these as well. I mean, and you can leave them like this until you're doing a journal and you know the design that you're going to do.
hopefully you've all had a lovely day um, an evening plenty of crafting I hope has been going on I hope right so we're going to make this one next so we're going to have one flat piece and what we're going to do I'll just try and remember how I've done it she says Corner there. <clears throat> so if you can hear that noise in the background, that humming, that is our incubator going. those pockets and we have another one which went that way she says that's gonna go there and then we've got these three this way add as many pockets as you actually like completely up to you and the best thing about um using book pages it doesn't actually weigh a lot so obviously if you use cardstock it's going to have to be quite heavy so you're going to need quite um a heavy gsm paper to hold it right so and then we're done one across the hole. I'll be out of shot. She says. She says <laughs> she's knocking it all over the place. Why are you going that way? I said behave. Right, and then we've got two little ones. And these two little ones I actually used one piece. music paper completely up to you so I'm just going to do my first fold and also you can have them going any way you like it's completely up to you I'm just going to snip along there Tiddly one. She says, Come on, here we come. She's done the right in the wrong way. Come from the moment. That's it. <laughs> I'm having a moment. <laughs> Ignore me. Right. Okay. And that one there. So, I'm not claiming that I'm the first person who's designed this because I'm sure there's many amazing crafter out there who's brought this idea up before. So, obviously, we'll cut it along there and cut it along there so it does make it shorter. Just make sure. Um, when you're designing these that it's going to fit in your journal because I have made mistakes before where they haven't fitted and there's been a lot of trimming <laughs> a lot right so we're just going to go just to hold this in place she says like I said 
I will be going around with my sewing machine. around the edge just to hold it in place and also if you know what your colours are going to be you can put your colour paper in straight away you know Design which ones that which layers you're going to decorate. Um, same with if you're going to do it with um, napkins. Um, my video earlier you know my my youtube page and i've seen i've got a couple more subscribers thank you ever so much do appreciate everybody who subscribed remember comment on what you're doing let's inspire each other and if you've got a, if you've set up a YouTube page, you've got a YouTube page, just comment with your page so I can subscribe to you as well and see what fantastic stuff you make. to support each other don't we and inspire each other that's the best bit what did I do I've done that there I've glued down the bottom which I shouldn't have never mind never mind so I've done that so I'm just gonna go glue Oh, I need to fill up my bottle. Just gonna glue just along there. And then what I've got glue on the table now. It's lucky enough I've got my crafting cloth on, isn't it? Just snip that off. And bin it. <laughs> bin it. Right, there we go. So we've got those pockets so far. And then our next one <clears throat> So yes Twin chicks are doing really well They are growing fast In my next video I'll um, do a quick little screen um, video of them I did I went to um, my sister-in-law's field and actually got um, a run for them. Oh, let me just, because that's a lot slimmer, isn't it? I don't know, then. We had that quite down here, didn't we? Right, okay. So I'm just making sure I don't glue past my bits. Um, <clears throat> that's me really love. So yeah, I went to my sister's um, field the other day and I said, oh, I said, when, when's the chicks? When will they be ready to come to the field? And she says, right, she says, go and get one of those chicken runs. She said, little ones. She said, put that out in your garden. She said, so they can get used to being outside. I went, yeah, all right then. So done all that. Set it up in the garden so they've got a nice little area to get practicing scratching around in the soil. So 
and then I could, the temperature was starting to drop a bit because it was getting later on in the afternoon. So I thought, oh, let's go and get them in, take them in, they, they can go on, back under the brooder. So one entrance in, which is at the end, and obviously the roof lifts to the little house. You wouldn't go in the house. So and then I had to, every time I put my arm in, they were scurrying right into the corner. So I thought, right, I'll lift it up and then I'll get one, take it indoors and then do the same. Well, I've done that, got one of the twins, took her to the um, brooder, warm her up, went back out and I forgot to put the door on the front of the run. So you've got this little chick who stood on the edge going, oh, freedom. Spent 10 minutes chasing this chick around the garden. And I thought, that's it. That's it. Never again. And there's me with 18 more eggs in the incubator. I must be glad with the punishment. Not easy when they're bigger. They're too scatty when they're chicks. <laughs> Must be mad. Must be mad. Just add a little bit there. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Right, okay. One more little edge. Oh, that wasn't it. So we snip that little bit off because we don't need that bit. I hope I'm in short. You know when you get that sudden panic. I don't want to stand up. And then I might overshadow. Right, okay. I did do that right then, didn't I? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> Sudden panic. Right, there we go. So there's our six pockets. And then what I do is I go around with the sewing machine and then I just do a quickly tidy trim. So obviously you can see it's just slightly going off there but I'll go up through there there along there after I've sewn it so that is your pockets oh, I'll never get never get something to put in there let me find something so you've got your little pocket there number two number three number four number five number six and if you want, you could actually fit number seven there, which would be fab. Um, you could also do, get a wider piece of this and, you know, attach it there, washi tape, fold it over and you can have it as a flip out, like so. So there's that one. Right, now, the book. How are we doing on time? I don't want to look up. <laughs> I don't want to get up. Right, so we've got this here. Let's go for it, eh? So we used quite a few bits of scrap paper already. So I want to reduce that down. That one's going to be the main one. Let's tidy these up. Oh, getting a hot flush. short anyway right okay so the front was I actually have got some washi tape here I've had it for a while I don't know if it's going to be any good what's it say whole lots of love mm -hmm. 
Okay, feeling good. Right, let's try this one. I've got this one here. But for some reason, it's... Oh, oh, oh no. Let's see what it's doing. I said I got it. I think I might have it. Oh, yes. Right, let me snip that off. Oh, I've snipped a bit too far. No, I haven't. <laughs> right, stick that there a minute. Right, so. Just going to put a bit of glue down. the table. Make sure I wipe that up in a minute, am I? Right. Put a bit of washi tape down, like so. This one I just bought um, in the range here in the UK. Let's just snip that off. And then here as well. And then we'll go down the other side. Watch, I've got that little bit off my finger. And once again, I'm just going to go down through here. But it's like I said, you know, those little bits of paper that I trimmed off, you can use them to make the hinge or the join. The reason I am putting glue down is even though the washi tape is sticky, some um, are prone to coming up after a time. Oh, sorry, apologise. So this is just added a little bit of security because one thing is you don't want is your goodies falling apart on you. Right, there we go. So we have this one and I'm just going to go over and she says go over <laughs> and just give it a little fold like so. Alright. Fabulous. Right, so first page let's go for it we do apologize if there's any rude words on that i have not read it i'm just using it <laughs> right so let's get our first pop it down so we want to go that way and before i clear this one down I'm actually going to put the cut paper behind it. All right, so we'll decorate this one as we're doing it. And um, what colour shall we have? Do we have the yellow again? Because yellow stands out really nicely. Um, so I've got all my papers down beside me. Um, um, she says oh, see that's pretty let's go for it shall we let's go oh no I've lost it <laughs> she says let's go for it and she loses it alright make sure it's a singular look out pretty that is I'd be happy if that was wallpaper as well so we're only going to need to there aren't we put it there so she moves it right if I do it that way and then I can um <coughs> Ruler, and I want it roughly to here. She says, just sheer concentration. 
action. Oh, I'm really smooth after that. Right. I want one of those. Um, well, I would like one of those ones there. Um, I've seen a few of the ladies. Um, Gail. Um, she's got one. Is it? Um, Foxy's creation. She's got one as well. I'm thinking I need one of those rulers in my life. You know, the rip rulers. I think they're brilliant. Right, so we want to go along here. Oh, how pretty is that? <clears throat> right, let's glue that down. One on there. Yeah, sorry if my shadow of my hand is in the way. Um, hut was so so cold today. No, it was a real chill in the air, but it was really foggy this morning. Okay, put some glue on this one. Need to refill this. I think I'm coming to the end. Not to worry, not to worry. Down that way. Had <clears throat> a bit of a frog in my throat. Okay, now I'll do the other one that way. Okay, let's just make sure that's not going over. Right. There. I do like that paper. Very nice. Right, and we're going to go this way. This one, she says. Go that way. Oh, it's pretty paper. I don't really want to hide a lot of it, so I'm going to move that down. Hmm. Very pretty paper. I wonder if I can get me more of that because that would be nice um, to go throughout the journal. I've got one sheet left. <laughs> No my luck. I won't find another one, will I? So we're going to go this far, wasn't we? Yeah, that's nice. So I'll do... I'm going to glue down the edge. Let's see how far we go. this up a bit because I don't want to be out of shot for you. Right, and we're going to go just across here like that. Okay. Need to come over a bit, don't we? Oh, not too much. Not too much. That's it. Right. Quickly snip that off. So yeah, as you can see, I've only done two pockets on the front. Might just do one more. Should we do a bit of this? Should we 
do a cross train. what that look like that's just two two right that should we go for it let's go for it <laughs> let's go for it why not Didn't I? Okay, right. So we have that. Okay, compromise that pocket. So I'm going to have that there. And then maybe just one more pocket. In there, she says. What do you think, guys? Go across like that. Does that look alright? No, it doesn't, does it? I don't like it. Hmm. I'm trying to think what we need to do. Maybe. me so that's the outside we we'll stick into that <laughs> so I mean we can do a nice little strip going up there <laughs> do a bit of our collaging how about that so I want because obviously I want to try and keep colours similar is that correct similar yes so, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I really like that. That's nice. But it's so big. Let's try something. Might as well decorate it up with you guys. Okay. Oh, the paper's so big. Sorry, I'm just trying to um it a little bit try and doubt all the bit all the bit won't fit on there um we'll colour the edging in afterwards that's nice right where's me in going a bit rogue here I'm going a bit rogue Give me all right, so I'll just get rid of the my disaster tearing good old dink. 
So using Distress Oxide, a Vintage Photo, just going to put that along there because then I can use the other side in the other area. So I just want a little bit because then I've got that problem with that pocket, haven't I? I wonder, see I should have done this before, shouldn't I really? If we go like that and try and merge. We're going to attempt it. Let's <laughs> see how this goes. Fails, it fails. No harm done. Okay. No harm done. Right. Let's attempt to do this. Just a touch. I don't know how this is going to look. Okay. Then we're going to go along there. Oh, don't do this to me, Glue. Right. Go through there. Let's say. Right, should we have a look, guys? So what happens? Okay. If it's a fail, it's a fail. Just means this video won't go up. <laughs> but if it's, it'll do a job. That, that might rip even more. It might be fine, she says. I don't know. I don't know if I've made a mistake. Let me get. Let me get um, so I don't know if that would be that looks all right, doesn't it? Because you've got the blues in there. Oh, I might have rescued it. Jesus. A mile. good right okay I'm just gonna go along that line oh guys I think we might have done it might have 
to save the day. No, it's a bit bizarre. Bottom half. See, I don't really like this here. Why did I do it? Why didn't you guys tell me? Let's just have a look. It's not that bad. Let's move that up a bit. So it's still disguising that. And then that's still there. Still there, right. So Okay. Okay. <laughs> she says. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just do the inside, shall we? <laughs> Just get on with it. Okay, so I have. Where did I put you, paper? I do have a piece of. <clears throat> What a piece of you there. So right, let's go for it, eh? Oh, here we go. We've got our little journaling bit. that down more the writing on the paper <laughs> you know when you try you sorting out useful links what I was doing that for. I was doing a test run. Right, okay, so we'll do um, a bit of dusting around there with our vintage photo. Let me just get a piece of paper to do this on. Oh, that was a bit dark, wasn't it? And there. Come on, Claire. Okay, so next bit I will get my stamps and go to sleep. Sorry about that, guys. Just a little butterfly. to be asleep. Okay. I'm just gonna go up the page.
going off up there. Okay, fabulous. So there's that bit done. I'm at the table already. So that's the front. And they're done. We need something to go there. Ruffle. We want something there, don't we? So, where's my goodies? Where's my goodies? Um, I've got a couple of flowers. Go for flowers. So we're doing yellow, so I'm using some of Chinas from Shabby Dabby Doo Dice flowers. Putting the large ones. Oh, that's larger ones. That might be better. Okay. That back there. So we've got that. that there and a ruffle <coughs> and she says we want a bit of fabric for it to sit under. She says. Let's see if she's got any here. to stay so my shadow doesn't interfere with it and it's difficult oh sis sis oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's fallen ah. use a bit of this bit of cheesecloth Well, we can cut it. Cut it. Oh, come on. Oh. wanting to play guys oh right I'll try again because I haven't got my um fabric scissors on me that's why and these ones I think need to be um resharpened oh, so it cuts this fabric all right. Okay. We'll start again, shall we? <laughs> so I'm just fraying it around the edge. see what other flowers we got just need darker maybe to stand out against the white or could it be because that is too white let's have a look should we try these flowers that seems a little bit better actually got yellow in as well <clears throat> mm. 
Okay. Right. Go for that. I think I might, what I might do is just add a bit of vintage fur to it. Just ruffle it up a bit. Ugh. Get angry with it. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, I know what I could do. Let's try this. Let's try. This is my um, stamp from Crafty Individuals. What did I do with the bit of paper that I was using? I used it, didn't I? So let's go for it. Yes. Oh, this could be it. Right, okay, what do I do with the flowers? Like so. That's better. Right, we're getting there, guys. Please forgive me if this is a long video. Do apologise. Just gonna go around the edge. Just uh, soften the white. Okay. And it's anything is when you're doing arts and crafts. It's how dirty your hands get. I love it. <laughs> right, okay. Actually like now does that look nice there? Or would it look nice there? Quite like it along there. Oh, no, there. I actually really like that. I know it's hiding some of that, but what did I do on my? Oh, let's try this. We'll try it. If I trim it down, my ruffle. Actually proud of making my ruffles today because I didn't chop my fingers off with my sewing machine or have needles stuck in my hand. That's better. Okay, we're getting there guys, we're getting there. Yay, she's the same. So I'm assuming we'll go through that. <coughs> right, okay, so this page we want to I do the book there. So what did we use on here? So we got that one there, fold, fold. Okay, so we've already got one folded because we're on the ball. She's nearly out. She's nearly there. Right, okay. Put that across there. And that there. Now, do we want... 
No, I think before we do that, clear that down to there and maybe have Let me just rip that side. Oh. Okay, we'll do that somewhere else. Okay, so we've still got a bit of this, haven't we, guys? So I have half. No, because I'll cut that way. Hmm. No, we'll use that on the next one, I think. If we put that across to there, so have that there. Have that there. Put that. Right, we do. Right, where's my thing? I still forgot that then. Right, so we want that to go across to there. So along those words. Okay. one up here <clears throat> okay. there and then we want straight across wasn't it moved this is why I don't do the sewing um, I actually do that when I'm off shot my old sewing machine goes nine to a dozen and it's like a little mini earthquake here on the table Okay, scissors, trim that bit off, and then I think there was one more pocket. Okay, why didn't we just straighten there? Okay, so we've got that pocket there. Fab, and one more pocket, so we need one more piece of paper. Ooh. We've got. Just going to trim this little edge off here. And then fold over. Fold over straight there would help. Glue 
this down. too far with that. I'm going to go last pocket. Yeah. Fabulous. Okay. Trim this bit off. It's ideal to wait until it's actually dried. Would help. go so and then on the inside might be able to print shoes in this it says oh, oh. I'll just go around the edge in in a minute <laughs> right there's the pocket there so to there and roll up oh that wasn't meant to happen right a bit of glue using sprouts up you know and creating your own little masterpieces it's just the best thing it's everybody's is different about today I've not even put my laces away properly just have it overhanging a little bit let me just double check she says just a little bit mm, maybe that one or oh that's just unraveled no, <laughs> just it's overhanging a little bit. That's better. I prefer that one. So just spin it off there, and then spend the rest of the night re-wrapping all my laces. <laughs> right. Oh, the best thing about it is when I sewn this all together it'll all be extra secure and all the solid piece okay right we're liking that I want something there um, she says she wants something there maybe one of saying I'm just trying to make sure my shadow doesn't go too much picture we got flower something 
Okay, right, what do we want? What do we want? I want something behind it. Um, do I really want the same with that fabric again? Oh. No, I don't. I want a bit of cheesecloth, but let me have it. Oh, now you decide to cut. <laughs> now it decides. Right, okay, we're gonna fray it a little bit. Oh, itchy nose. <laughs> right, okay. So, keep those, keep those. <clears throat> Next job, we'll just do just a quick tidy, and then we will get a photo. Photo thingy majiggy. <laughs> you know what I meant. I'm just gonna go around there at the top and distinguish each area. Okay, it's looking good. Right. Perfect. I'll get some buttons which are in my shed at the moment. So they will go get a couple of buttons along there. Oh, I know I didn't do the front, did I? Let's just do along here, down here. So there you go, there's the first one. Tomorrow I'll do another video on decorating the other one using napkins to give you... Where did I put it? I've hid it now. I'll have it there. Um, so we'll have this, because I'll have my um, brush them ready. All right, so we'll decorate this one up tomorrow. Well, this one. And that, so it'll look completely different. So yeah, we've got, so we've done this one, that's stuck down. That's not, there you go. So we've got the, got a tag in there to put in there. <clears throat> Let's see, we've got that one behind, and then we have that one, that one, <laughs> and then we have our big one. There, it's perfect. So I'm actually going to stick. Oh. Why did I stick my logos just across that top bit, just to give it a little bit of je ne sais quoi? No, I don't know what the word is. A bit of pizzazz. <laughs> I don't know. Right, it is 20 past 11 at night. And my marbles are starting to go. Okay, so we'll do that. Try and do that 
change my glare. Why not? Okay. I have that there. I've got glue sticking to my fingers. Okay. I like that on there. And I need something there, don't I? Um. We have I want nothing major. That's the thing. You can either do too little or too much. And I don't want to be doing too much. Um, 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 um No, we'll leave it until I've got my bigger buttons, I think. Yeah, and then I could sew around the edges as well. Right, so there you go. A little booklet, a tag booklet. Just made out of good old book page. So, yeah, we'll carry on tomorrow and we'll decorate, obviously, this one up. My six tag top, um, tag page. And we'll also <clears throat> decorate these ones up. And then they'll be ready. Um, I might actually do them in a different design because I don't want too much of the same thing, obviously, in one journal. Um, so I might get some different paper to do this up um, for another journal that I'm aiming to do. So thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It gave you a little bit of inspiration on, you know, putting something in your journal. Um, and like I said before, if you've got any ideas that you'd like to share or you're working on at the moment, just comment below and I will reply to you as um, soon as I've seen it. Um, look forward to the next video. Take care, my lovelies. Look after yourself. Bye.